Let's have a look at the FDC website. I cannot undo myself from the impression it is really creative. But is it really effective? Let's take it from the beginning. In other words, who's it for and what should it offer? The basic objective looks as it should bring us all into a creative mood, which will have an effect on how we live, work and become successful in what we do. So, the site should first consider to explain creativity in its broadest sense and how FDC positions in this context. So, whoever logs in should get a clear and immediate message about creativity as the foundation for the future. Let's keep that in mind. Position the brand with a clear message and use the best means to explain. Sample the target, define the means and go for a result. Let's save this card on the important pile. Now we know what FDC stands for, we should think about our visitors. Let's call them our clients. Are they all the same? Of course not. There's the entrepreneur that wants to expand his business with a creative approach. There's the student that looks for creativity to give direction to his future. The artist wanting to create a market for his creations. And the civilian wanting to discover his potential. Stop! Don't forget the gender as the extra target group dimension. So, what we suggest is use classical means to explain future perspectives. Maybe in the way we do this presentation. Whatever. Video is the word for those that have stopped reading in this communication society. Since we have a broad target, we really need to find solutions for them to find their nirvana. This will become a major issue. Only think what creativity means for the guy that wants to start up an art gallery. First is the CEO who wants to innovate his production line. So, let's keep in mind, users between brackets typology and their motivations. That will define our site structure. So, their motivations and our navigation in chronological order are firstly, learn about, secondly, become interested, thirdly, get inspired, fourthly, develop an approach, and finally, start and run. Having browsed the present website, we discovered an immense number of tools to support creative ambitions and what FDC has to offer to guide you on the glorious path. The objective is to create a toolbox that is easy accessible and brings together the different content types in the website, such as information, motivation and guidance tools. Our fourth target is to get continuity. To become a full member of the creative community, we need to give them enough reasons to interact and maybe, yes, on a daily basis. So, the least we can do is to bring prime news about creatives and their creations, innovators and their innovations, with the main objective to let confrontation lead to creative appetite. Another one for our important pile. And why not cope with local quality newspapers that want to be associated with a creative future and let them become your daily partner, such as the Tijd voor Creativiteit or the Creative Morgen. This could actually be a part of the site and for them, food for thought on a daily basis. So let's see what we have learned so far. Firstly, know the user and why they want to interact. Secondly, give them the easiest access to the tools. Thirdly, position with a clear message and, fourthly, give them a daily reason to consider the creative options. So, to finally put it all together, a good site requires a good analysis, knowledge of the user's motivations, being a practical tool for success and a daily partner bringing the world on your screen. Now let's do some more thinking and, together with FDC, make the perfect analysis, design accordingly and test thoroughly. It will be creative and effective. Cheers.